Day in the Book Lord Scotia. Tonight on Young Talent Time. Portie led 175, Sir Neville 265, Quinella 9045, Trifecta 2764.85, and the double was 131.40. So great news here with Campaign King, a brilliant winner of the Elders. Now at Randwick, it was 540 and 115 for Attila Prince. Second horse lady, Hunderley, 65. I'm a black man, 85. The Quinella was $4.80 and the trifecta, $64.80. 6480. the trifecta. Now, Campaign King, 250 and 110. Rancho Ruler, 175. Planet Ruler, 95. Quinella was 940 and the trifecta, $75.55 on 111 and 19. And now they look to be right. Raw Ridge out wide. Was odds on at his last start here. Romantic game one that day. Go racing. And Gallipoli prints away pretty well with Link the Leopard and Lord Scotia began well. Northern Copy drops him behind. Bit of a champ. Flew out with Raw Edge. And Quiet Sensation there going up with Gallipoli Prince. Gallipoli Prince drives through with Bit of a champ taking him on. Quiet Sensation. Raw Edge off the track. Three links to Lord Scotia. Three to Northern Copy. Two to Cindy's Appeal. Romantic Games got a long way back with Royal Scribe. Congressman Link the Leopard and two links to Emulus. On the turn, a line of four. Gallipoli Prince, Bit of a champ. Quiet Sensation. Raw Edge and sitting on them, Lord Scotia, and they're five links, Northern Copy. Cindy's Appeal and Romantic Game starting to run on well out wide. In the straight, bit of a champ tackled by Quiet Sensation, Raw Edge, Gallipoli Prince gone. Lord Scotia's running on strongly but giving them a start, and now Northern Copy and Cindy's Appeal out wide. Lord Scotia's gone up with Raw Edge and Quiet Sensation, but Northern Copy flying. Lord Scotia's taken the lead. He's about to head in front of Quiet Sensation and Northern Copy, and Lord Scotia draws away to win by about a long neck. Quiet Sensation, second, third, Northern Copy. Then Raw Red, Cindy's Appeal, Romantic Game. Behind them, Congressman, a bit of a run. Uh, next home, Emulus making up ground. Further back, bit of a champ. Back with it was Link the Leopard, Gallipoli Prince. Not so good today when they took him on. And last of all, Royal Scribe. And the time, 60.5. Hundred thousand dollars, and they'll be running over two thousand four hundred metres. Began a little slowly. Rajamar began nicely, and Sinclair is going to take up the running in the early stages. Colour page handy. Card Shark is running about fourth. Lord Highbrow out a little bit wide. Fidesabel getting back, and the Kiwi Tilbury Dox immediately drops out last. Have a look at the speed as they come to the winning post the first time. They are cantering, and the leader is Sinclair. Put back on the bit, leads by almost the length. Lord Highbrow running second. Rajamar third on the inside of Cutter Page. Another two lengths then to Card Shark, followed by Fox Hill on the inside. One to Finesse Bell, and a length and a half off last Tilbury Docks. Going to the 1800, Sinclair just bowling along out in front, leads by a length. Lord Highbrow second, Rajamar nicely placed. He's a half length away third on the inside. Three quarters then to Cutter Page, one and a half to Card Shark. A neck back third last on the inside is Fox Seal, one to Finesabel, and Tilbury Docks is at the rear, 1,600 metres out. Sinclair one in front, second, Lord Highbrow, one away third, Rajamar, there's been no change in the order. Cutter Page is up fourth on the outside, two to Card Shark. Fox Seal third last the inside, one to Finesabel, and Tilbury Docks still at the rear. 1,400 metres behind them now, and it's Sinclair the leader. Sinclair leads by a length, second on the outside, Lord Highbrow, third over on the rail is Rajamar, a half length then to cut a page, then Card Shark, Fox Seal, Finesabel, Tilbury Dock still at the rear. Still no change in the order. Coming up towards the thousand and going along out in front, it is St. Clair. St. Clair by a length. Second, Lord Highbrow, and Rajamar is third on the inside. One to cut a page, then Card Shark and Fox Seal improving up along the rails. Tilbury Docks is now second last, and Finesabel drops out to the rear. Down the side, 8.50 metres out, Sinclair, one in front. Here's the first one to make a move. It's Cassidy on Cutter Page, and he dashes him up on the outside, and Cutter Page joins Sinclair in the lead. Roger Mar still a length and a half away third, followed then by Lord Highbrow, two to Card Shark, Fox Seal, Finesabel, and Tilbury Docks, last of all, coming around the home turn, 4.50 metres out. Sinclair, she's kicked again on the inside. She's a neck clear of Cutter Page as they flatten for the run-in. Rajamar looking for the way. Claire Thompson trying to work him into the middle there, followed by Lord Highbrow. And Card Shark winding up on the outside. Color Page is the first beat, and Sinclair is kicked again. Lord Highbrow coming after Sinclair. Card Shark on the outside, trying hard to reach them, and then Rajamar. Lord Highbrow, he dashed up. He's hit the lead from Sinclair, and Lord Highbrow is starting to spear away the last little bit. He's coming away from them, and he's going to win it easily. Lord Highbrow first. 
second, Card Shark, tight for third, Cutter Page, he's battled on OK in the last 100 metres or so, and he's in a photo with Rajamar and Sinclair, then for Nezabel, Fox Seal and Tilbury Docks, last of all. Past the post, 4-1, and it looks like number two has got third colour page. The winner, 2 20 and 70 cents, Lord Highbrow. Second, number one, $1.05, and third, number two, $1.25. If it has got third, but it does look like it has colour page. 4-1 to Eagle Farm, race sixth. They stand well. And he's got them away this time. Double schedule towards the outside was one of the first to go. Magic Toss got away in a hurry. On the inside, King of Cavaliero is showing speed with McLeod Star showing his customary dash. Then Sia is just going to settle in behind them. Uh, they were followed next on the inside by Lord Valrigo. Super asset, a break of two away to Lajua. Stack the deck, private turn. And way too mana a drop to the rear. Double schedule at the 800 leads the way. A half Magic Toss, King of Cavaliero. A length away as McLeod Star, San Sia. Lord Valrigo on the inside from Super Asset. They were followed by Raff and Prince on the outer. Two lengths away as Larger were. Four away Private Town, followed by Stack the Deck and Way to Manawa. On the home quarter, double schedule the leader. King of Cavaliero, the inside, and Magic Toss the outer. Sansi is working into the pictures kindly, followed the inside by Lord Valrigo, Super Asset, and Raff and Prince on top of the rise. King of Cavaliero headed off double schedule. Lord Valrigo is looking for the split. Sansi is struggling, followed by Super Asset and Raff and Prince, ah, but King of Cavaliero. It's dashed away from the Magic Toss and McLeod Star fighting out the miners with Lord Valrigo, but King of Cavaliero's day to day, and King of Cavaliero wins the prize. King of Cavaliero, two to Lord Valrigo. Toss up for third, Lajoueur late on the scene, or McLeod Star, followed by Magic Toss, double schedule, Raff and Prince super asset. Sansia was next from Private Town, stacked the deck, and last in was way to Manawa. 5, 12, and a photo for third, but possibly number four, McLeod Star third. The winner, two... Lord Highbrow, 2.30 and 70 in the O'Shea Stakes in Brisbane. Card Shark, 105, Colour Page, 120, the Cornella, 7.30, and the Trifecta, 96.35. In Sydney, number five was 2.60 and 90, 12, 145, 4.90. The Cornella paid $23.10. The trifecta was $202.40 and the daily double in Sydney today was $24.35 for four and five. King of Cavaliero winning the seventh race, interim dividends here for Ramwick race seven. Now in Melbourne, Noble Kit into two. Next to him, Noble Kit, then I'm a red man, racing. And Coldwater was slow and so was Boston Bay and I'm a red man, bounced out first with O'Ban, alternate and triple lark. Uh, tucked in behind those noble kit beyond dispute going up with drinks all round jacks a star boston bay out wide and two or three links to cold water oban led but going up to join a triple arc to take over in his favorite role alternates up nice and handy today normally gets back a bit just behind him beyond dispute i'm a red man getting the run of the race true beauty outside of it from boston bay noble kit geyserland Drinks all round back second. Last got a check too as I speak. Inside of it, Jack's a star and one to cold water. No pace on really. About a dozen links cover them at the 1400. And triple like a length alternator. Half O band. One away beyond dispute. I'm a red man inside True Beauty. Noble Kit settled pretty well inside Boston Bay. Guys are land outside of Jack's a star. Two to drinks all round and cold water. Past the 1200. Triple Arc having an easy run in front. Two links alternate and on the fence. Oban. Two to beyond dispute. I'm a red man. Fifth the rail outside of a true beauty. A length and a half further back to Noble Kit on the inside of Boston Bay. Two to Geyserland. On its inside is uh, Jack's a star. Two to drinks all round and still cold water last. Been a lackluster fair as they go past the 800. And Triple Arc about a length in front, alternate on the south side, Oban the rail, it's going to be a dash home, then beyond dispute, I'm a red man, true beauty, Geyserland commencing a run, and Noble Kit comes off the fence, one to Boston Bay, drinks all round cold water, and on the inside of it is Jackson Star. he's revving up on Triple Lark, and he got away, two or three links in front into the straight from Oban, alternate, then true beauty, Geyserland, I'm a red man off the rail, Noble Kit hard ridden, Triple Lark led Oban the first challenger in the straight, but he's two links away, alternate, true beauty, the outside, I'm a red man down near the rail. Noble Kid under the whip and Geyserland. Triple Lark at the distance has got a big lead. He looked around, led three links to Oban. Looked to have a winning break. True Beauty, I'm a red man alternate. And then Noble Kid, but Triple Lark's away. He's running as straight as a die. He's four links in front of Oban. Noble Kid battling on for the place, but Triple Lark, a clever ride. And he wins all the way by three links. Second placing Oban. Third would have been Noble Kid from True Beauty alternate. 
Uh, behind them, Jackson Star. I'm a red man. Didn't fire again today from beyond dispute. Geyserland, Boston Bay drinks around in cold water. Well, 28.7. It was a sit sprint. There's and Triple Lark has led throughout, and we've seen that happen on a number of occasions here today. Yes, and uh, Robbie Griffiths uh, took a little while, as you, you thought that he might lead early. Well, he took about a furlong and a half to get to the lead, and then from then on it was a procession. In fact, the field didn't seem to change much at all in the run. 5 and 135, Oban 265, Noble Kit 80, Quinella 57.35. The double was $20.55, the daily double was $143.25, and the quadrilla today was $2,851.75. $2,851.75 for the quadrilla, and the numbers you require there, the first leg was two, the second leg went to number eight, and the third leg to three. Now in Sydney it was 260 and 90 for King of Cavaliero, Lord Valrigo 145, McLeod Star 95, Quinella 2310, Trifecta 202.40, and the Daily Double 24.35. Correct weight in Melbourne, two links by 3481. Selections for the last Foxley at odds to beat Voodoo Blues and Native Neptune. Seppies, let's go. Above deck, the favourite at dollar thirty. Caraca got us a bit slow to begin from the inside, and absence of Malice Stage breeze a bit slow out wide. Imperial Surf has begun nicely, pushes through on the inside of Blackie Star. Boucher Boy goes up to join them with Mr Nisku and Nura. They're all vying for the lead. There's a great charge now, and it's Boucher Boy, Mr Nisku and Nura, line of three, just in advance then of, mo of making ground to fourth. Durham Rivers, uh, backing behind them, Imperial Surf around them from wide out stage. Breeze and then Blackie Star Sashiko caught deep around the outside of Dial Tone and further back Karaka Goddess above decks well back off the pace. Further back in the field absence of Malice and they were followed back second last by Bright Jet and last of all is Rising Rocket about eight lengths off the lead. Working to the 800 metre point as they work on the turn and Nura took over length and a quarter. Mr Nisku's second third placing came Boucher Boy in that division with them too was Durham Rivers and also Blackie Star getting back in the field a little. Over on the outside Sashiko around stage Breeze as they head to the outer. Karaga got its rising rocket near the rail. Imperial Surf and Dial Tone of centre field. And with that one was above deck, followed by absence of Malice, Ashiko and Bright Jet. The leader, Nura, racing to the 400 metre mark. From in second placing, Boucher Boy. Here's Dial Tone winding up, coming after them with Imperial Surf. They're joining in very quickly. Nura grabbed by Dial Tone and Imperial Surf, who come together. Mr Nisku still there. And then came above deck, weaving back in behind them. Dial Tone, Nura and Imperial Surf. Here's a great go. Dial Tone has the better of Imperial Surf getting close to home. Dial Tone and Imperial Surf with Dial Tone putting the head in front and he's rung through Dial Tone from Imperial Surf. Third Nura, fourth above deck. Mr Nisku, Boucher Boy, Blecky Star, Rising Rocket, Stage Breeze, Absence of Malice. They were followed further back in the field by Sashiko and then came Durham Rivers followed by Karaka, Golden Bright Jet was last. Across the line, race number six in Adelaide, 12, four and six, 12, four, six. We apologise for the uh, poor picture there, but they are the pictures coming in from Adelaide. 12 first, 20.85 and 3.45, good dividend for the winner. In fact, that's probably a false dividend. I'm looking at the previous race, but it is at big odds. 12, four and six, race number six at Victoria Park. 3.95 and $1.20, it obviously had good support, had one placing from six starts prior to today. 3.95 and $1.20, Imperial Surf $1.35, third Nura. It paid 145 Quinella and Trifecta to come with correct weight. Brisbane's not too far away. Race number seven, the top is out. 365 for number two, Cool Report. 245 for Billy Asset, and it keeps tumbling in Billy Asset. There's been some good money for it. Number five is Potter McQueen, 350. 370, number six, Regal Affair. It was an eye catcher last start in Brisbane. Number seven is Alamander Boy on 525. 825 for number nine, Golden Unicorn, trained by Angus Armanasco at Caulfield. Number 14 is our Westminster 295. There were big reports about this fellow. He was blazing the tracks down before the meeting was called off last Saturday, and uh, he was a big tip on the course. Of, of course, he didn't get to run, but uh, he does today. He's quite smart. Number 15 is Petrero at about $4. Now, they're just about set to go. A big field here. 1,200 metres, Wayne Wilson's ready. They're racing off to a great start. Civic Hope near the inside and Tolo both begin brilliantly. Potter McQueen and Alamander Boy, Billy Asset showing speed. Our Westminster's trap fairly wide spacecraft and cool reports out in no man's land as they run onto the first bend. He must be about eight wide cool report. Regular fear, lots of rule just behind them. Then Sunsani, one to Golden Unicorn, trap fairly deep. Royal Reel drifting back over on the inside, Robbie and Steele. And then Chilada Petrero's a long way back with Melody Moss. 
and My Blue Kingdom last of all, coming down the side, 700 metres out, Alamander Boy with a wing on every foot has raced away from them, he leads by two lengths on Tolai, Civic Hope is a length and a half away third, then Spacecraft in the middle, our Westminster's out three deep, Potter McQueen, cool report just behind them, then Regal Affair, Billy Asset has been shuffled right back through the field, he's worse than midfield over on the inside as they flatten for the run in, Alamander Boy is the leader, here comes our Westminster on the outside, the Kiwi popped the big question, and here comes another Kiwi, Regal Affair down the outside, our Westminster moved up, hit the lead, tackled by Regal Affair, cool report and lots of rulers steaming home on the extreme outside with Royal Real, our Westminster just in front of Regal Affair, on the outside lots of rulers cutting down the pair of them, I think he's going to get there, lots of rule, they hit it, lots of rule, I think lots of rule just got there. Lots of real I'd say is won it by a half head over either Regal Affair or our Westminster. Then my Blue Kingdom and Billy Asset, Royal Real, Sun Sani. Followed in by Robbie and Steel, Civic Hope, Potter McQueen, Collie, Spacecraft, Cool Report, stopped at the end, Golden Unicorn, Melody Moss, then Chilada, and Alamanda Boy stopped to finish near the rear. What a brilliant finish that is. Number 10 is the winner, and it's a photo finish between Regal Affair and our Westminster for the minor placings. Expect... $19.70 and $5.45 for the winner. Regal Affair number six is showing about $1.45 and our Westminster about $1.20. Ten and a photo. Seven. Ten, six, fourteen, correct weight. Lots of rule. Nineteen seventy and five forty-five. A dollar forty-five Regal Affair. Our Westminster one twenty. Quinella and Trifecta to come. Correct weight is there. Race number seven at Eagle Farm. Race number seven in Sydney and they're set to go. Here's Paul and Brazzoli. Uh, just moving back a shade on the inside. Stands better now and they're off and racing. Eastern Cove missed it and so did Flaming Road and first to break the line was Mystical Prince. Mardi Gras got away in a rush looking for the lead. Whiskey George on the inside. Coming across now is Turf Terror looking for an early position. There's one on the outside of those. It uh, may well be Mally Boy it is. Lunch in Sydney was next. Port of Capsali settles down behind the speed. Further back was Eastern Cove, Flaming Road, Plupper Cove and dropping to the rear is Carl Lewis. Mally Boy took over now as they race to the 1,000 by more than a length on lunch in Sydney, Turf Terror. Mardi Gras over on the inside, followed by I'm Ready Lakefield. In that uh, bunch of horses there, making a bit of ground as Mystical Prince from Whiskey George Commander, Eastern Cove. Further back, Port of Capsale, it's got three behind it. There, Plumber Cove, Carl Lewis and Flaming Road as they approach the corner. Mally Boy is the front runner at this point, three quarters of a length on Turf Terror now getting up on the fence to join it. A length away as lunch in Sydney on the outside, followed by Mardi Gras angling for the inside run. I'm ready and Whiskey George hit of the others from Mystical Prince Lakefield. Carl Lewis and Eastern Cove is running home nicely on top of the rise. Many hopes. Mally Boy in front. Lunch in Sydney is challenging. Eastern Cove is running home well and they were followed by Mystical Prince. Whiskey George looking for the split and Port of Capsali getting to the front. Mystical Prince Eastern Cove is closing on it on the outside. Eastern Cove is overhauling. Mystical Prince runs to the lead and Eastern Cove will win the last. Eastern Cove three quarters of a length. Mystical Prince, Port of Capsali third. Mally Boy and Whiskey George were next from Plover Cove. They were followed by Lunch in Sydney, followed home next by Flaming Road, I'm Ready, Co. Lewis. Further back, Lakefield, Mardi Gras uh, finished well back with Turf Terror and Commander finished up at the rear. That was race number eight, the last event in Sydney. It's 876, Eastern Cove, Mystical Prince and Port of Capsali runners in the yard for the last. Port of Capsali, 85, Quinella, 2405, $158.05. The trifecta ran with race eight. As they're coming up, a couple to come up for the last 2,000 metre start. Now they look to be set, mnemonic out wide will probably lead. Foxley drawn the rails. Wait for the light. It's been a great day of racing. Hope you've enjoyed it on 10. You've seen all those big races from Brisbane, Sydney, and the double from Adelaide. Now the light on, racing in the last, and caught them in a pretty good line. Toe the line out the back early with Cobalt, and a Monica away pretty well. Foxley jump well with Monsoon Magic going hard early, and Pa Long Bow. Mnemonic will lead them after about a furlong though. Up there, Southern Pirate and Sample, Native Neptune, Voodoo Blues midfield. Georgie Sun outside of it, Shells, Grey Reply the fence. Further back, Frosty Dancer, Dave. Cobalt back third last with Rustingly and toe the line with them in. 1,600 out, Mnemonic worked across to lead two links to Sample and Monsoon Magic the rail. A length further back, good sensation. Then Southern Pirate around Foxley getting a nice run. Mnemonic's gone out five links in front here. Native Neptune outside of Georgie Sun and Grey Reply. Fly, two or three links, pile on bow, plenty of pace on. Shells the inside, further back, Voodoo Blues trapped a bit deeper, length to Dave. 
then Frosty Dancer, a half to Cobalt, a length and a half toe the line and one to Rustingly. Well, Pat Highland's a great jockey and he knows what he's doing. He's out six or seven lengths on Mnemonic. In second placing, Monsoon Magic, a half length away sample the outside. Two or three lengths further back, good sensation. One to Foxley, a stayers test in the last. Georgie Sun, three deep, a length native Neptune, two to Southern Pirate under the whip, then Grey Reply. Voodoo Blue should be suited by the fast pace. Shells inside of it from Dave Cobalt, well back with Frosty Dancer. Toe the line third, last pile long bow back, last the top eight and Rustin Lee inside of it. Now he gives Mnemonic a breather at the 600, led two lengths, second Monsoon Magic. Two to Foxley winding up, a length and a half further back, native Neptune, Georgie Sun, Voodoo Blues looking threatening out wide. Dave further back on the field, Shells under the whip, Grey reply and sample into the straight. Mnemonic about two lengths in front of Monsoon Magic, Foxley with a good run, then native Neptune, still three lengths to Voodoo Blues and two away to Frosty Dancer. Mnemonic's got a good lead at the distance, so it's two or three in front of Monsoon Magic, Foxley and native Neptune. Highland riding hard on Mnemonic, led two or three links, Monsoon Magic. Native Neptune running home well late, Mnemonic holding them at the moment though. A brilliant ride by Highland, Mnemonic two or three links in front of Monsoon Magic and then came Native Neptune and Mnemonic all the way in the last bite, two and a half. Second Monsoon Magic, third Native Neptune, they space the rest. Foxley from Voodoo Blues, toe the line. Then Cobalt Dave, behind them Pa Longbow, Rustingly. Shirls further back with Georgie Sun, Southern Pirate, Grey Reply. One of the last to finish, Frosty Dancer. Sample and tailing out completely, good sensation. What a brilliant ride, an absolutely outstanding performance by Pete. Starter about to come around to his platform. Starter's going to look over them and let's join Wayne for the last. Up on the platform, he's ready to release them. All set. Line looks pretty good and there they go. Certain of engineer the inside begin very quickly. Soldiers Leap is showing speed and so too is her success in the early part. Venetia's going up into a prominent position and Super Snack was slow to get going. Third last out of the gates. Where's Mighty Reserve? He's midfield. A thousand metres out. Venetia's is the leader just in front of Sir Success and Soldiers Leap. Easting down as a length away. Fourth then Castle Guard. Followed by Gubber Gold and Northcliffe picking up ground on the inside. These leaders are going very quickly. A break of three lengths to Roman Trick. Another three to Mighty Reserve who's hard ridden at the moment. Two further back to Champagne Jim and then Certain Avenger Proud Native. Noble Red next on the outside. Super Snack's last. Bold profile second last. Over the crossing, heading on towards the corner, 450 metres to go. Sir Success with the advantage of the inside, a narrow leader. Venetia's second on the outside. Northcliffe just behind them, third, then Soldiers Leap. Easting down and Gubber Gold both pulled out wide, then Certain Avenger. Mighty Reserve starting to pick up ground. He's weaving his way through the field, and then Castle Guard and Champagne Jim. They've got 250 metres to go. Northcliffe dashed up, hit the lead. Sir Success running second, then Raymond Trick into third place. Gubber Gold, Mighty Reserve on the outside. Northcliffe is nicely clear, 100 metres to go. Certain Avenger just flying home at the end. Northcliffe in front, Certain Avenger. I don't think he can catch him. No, they hit it. Northcliffe has beaten Certain Avenger with Roman Trick third. Gubber Gold fourth, then Mighty Reserve and Champagne Jim. And big boat tie making up plenty of ground at the end. Noble Red, Proud Native, Bold Profile. And Soldiers Leap, Super Snack, never in it. So success stopped quickly. Well back in the field was easting down Venetius and Castle Guard, the last one home. 6, 5 and 13 past the post, though I think they were pictures from Perth. Funny about that. 6, 5, 13. The uh, winner to pay 420 and 135. Second horse was Certain Avenger number five, a dollar thirty, and third thirteen Roman Trick, and it's to pay two dollars and seventy-five cents. Six five thirteen on the last at Eagle Farm. Eagle Farm, interim dividends, the last event there, the winner six, North Cliff, $4.20 and $1.35, five, Certain Avenger, second, $1.30, and 13, Roman Trick, $2.75, six, five, 13, Quinn, try to come, interim dividends on the last event at Eagle Farm. That just about wraps up the racing, certainly from the studio, and uh, Bruce, I'll say good afternoon to everybody, and I'll see you back at Nutter Wadding shortly. You've done an excellent job, Dan. Thanks for that. The Quinella on the last was twenty-one forty-five, and the trifecta four hundred and seventy dollars and five cents. We got to race three today with the replays. The first two went to my court. Yeah.